Refs should have mics like the NFL. They should be able to quickly circle up together after every major call in order to then decide the correct decision and see be fined and or suspended for game-changing mistakes they make, like the one we saw in Beantown on Saturday night. Then we'd avoid Pat Bev having to snatch a camera and personally show crew chief Eric Lewis the footage of LeBron blasphemously getting fouled right in front of Jason Goble. Question is, why once a call is initially made, specifically a foul call, are we not allowed to do anything about it? The refs can't discuss whether it's a foul or not between each other. We can't use the review system, which we already spend so much time on. This ruined the game for not only Laker fans, but yes, despite the fact their team took the win, the blasphemy from the officials took a big hit on the emotions of Celtic fans, I'm sure, whose W was delegitimized. I'm viewing this from an unbiased perspective as a Raptor fan in Toronto, by the way, but what just took place couldn't be a worse look for Adam Silver and the association. A primetime Saturday night ABC game featuring the game's greatest all-time rivalry between the Lakers and Celtics saw a supreme lack of consistency with the whistle. This ghost foul was whistled down on Anthony Davis, and Jalen Brown initially didn't get this whistle but complained and the refs called it right after that. The rules are setting up these officials very poorly though, but what went down last night could lose the NBA a lot of fans. It's ironic how the league's hyping up LeBron passing Kareem for the scoring record so much, yet their refs are acting blind to obvious fouls he's being hit with. LeBron is a controversial figure on and off the court, I know, with one side of the political spectrum being almost foreign to this man's existence, and okay if you're gonna be that guy, but not okay if you're not gonna whistle obvious contact on him between the lines because you don't agree with him. Despite making no mistakes off the court like Jordan and Kobe did, LeBron has been historically and unrightfully lit apart, whether it's by Skip Bayless, people who don't agree with him politically as I said, or just inevitable haters for no reason. Nevertheless, since being dubbed the chosen one, we can't deny any longer that LeBron's dealt with the hype and pressure about flawlessly since entering the NBA way back in 2003, even since his days at St. Vincent St. Mary's. Over merely the last two weeks, LA's been robbed of four games. All in the final moments, Embiid fouled Westbrook on this drive to the basket. Christian Wood practically wraps up to intentionally foul Braun right here, but nothing gets called. De'Aaron Fox clearly closes out too aggressively on Kendrick Nunn, but the refs are silent. Then, of course, the utter idiocy of what took place in Boston. What exactly is going on here, and why is this situation so disheartening for the league? We're about to look at exactly that, because this excuse from the refs, which kicks off by stating refs make mistakes, is a terrible, terrible look for the game we love. Right quick though, throw down your mouse on that sub box like linear 40 year old brawn for the YouTube algorithm, because if more of the 14.1% of you watching were subscribed, we'd reach the glorious milestone of 100k. And do your boy a massive solid by following at dflowhoops on Instagram and Twitter. Anthony Davis, as you somewhat saw in the intro, goes fundamentally straight up on this contest of Jason Tatum's layup. In no world is that a foul. Tatum's trying to lean into AD first of all, yet Davis, the multiple All-NBA defender by the way, is still drifting back in the air trying to avoid Jason to the very best of his abilities. I get home court advantage is a big factor with fans getting to yell at the refs, but it's amazing that they call a foul on that play, then try to claim they mistakenly missed LeBron completely getting whacked across the wrist by Tatum. You can't make this stuff up quite frankly, and it's mind-boggling that we still have refs this obviously biased for one reason or the other. Here, Anthony Davis gets pulled down by Jason Tatum as the whistle's blown on the rebound, but for some reason, it's a loose ball foul on him instead of what was a very obvious over the back. AD's just standing there shocked, and rightfully so. To even the playing field, this was actually a bad call on the other side as a Brogdon clean strip gets called for a foul. The Celtics challenge gets overturned, but just a momentum shifting bad call right there. Newest Laker and the disrespected by Shaq Rui Hachimura seems to play perfect forearm to body defense on this Brogdon attempt. That's simply a play on, but he's called for a foul. Next, this clip from the Celtics Instagram displays that Jalen Brown didn't get fouled for this and one initially before saying and one and getting a very late call. Laker fans across the globe were collectively saying and tweeting as the great Ayesha Curry once said, I've lost all respect 
Sorry, this is absolutely rigged for money or ratings, I'm not sure which. I won't be silent, just saw it live. Sorry. Great words from the real chef. Nevertheless, we can't be silent about what went down at the Boston Garden on Sunday. Evident MVP on the night, Jason Goebel racked up three late missed calls, leading to five Boston free throws, which included the dagger, a missed call from seven feet away that would have iced the game. Not too shabby for a veteran of the game. We need to not merely demand better, but here's what needs to happen. The three things I stated at the very start of this video, the refs being able to reverse any call on the fly, maybe saving us from the grueling review system by the way, that needs to happen. Secondly, to be completely on a string with their communication, refs having earpieces, especially if you're going to put three refs on the court, I mean, there's four corners of the court, not much logic to having three refs as opposed to four. Regardless, refs need mics, and last but not least, refs need to be held accountable just like the players. How can you find Joel Embiid 15k for a Triple H celebration, but these refs aren't having to pay a single dime for disasters like what took place on Saturday? It's disgraceful stuff here, especially on the verge of LeBron setting an all-time record. In no way should LeBron, or any of the Lakers for that matter, or any player across the NBA for that matter, be having to put up with this nonsense. The selection of refs needs to be better. Maybe it's time to bring in Kobe's old pal and the current ref in training, Smush Parker. LeBron dropped 41 points, 9 boards, 8 dimes, and 6 triples. Yet, having to deal with what went down, here was his post-game interview. I mean, you guys seen some of the games that we've lost this year with late game missed calls. We had an opportunity to literally, you know, win the game. I mean, that's, you know, I had this second one in the last few weeks for myself. You know, against Dallas, had an opportunity to win the game if the foul was called. I had an opportunity to tie the game if, you know, the four-point play is called. I don't, I don't understand that. And I watch basketball every single day. I watch these games every single day. And I don't see it happening to nobody else. It's just, it's just weird. Were the Lakers robbed, though, in your opinion? Get on the Community Speaks board and compete for merch with your competitive take down below. Today's commenter shoutout goes to Joshua Rosen, who says the last two games, Kaminga has intrigued me. The last couple of weeks he's been improving, and the last two to three games he's been looking like the athlete we've known him as while being very efficient at shooting. Kaminga shot four for six from three against the Raptors. Sorry, D Flo. And although Kaminga took fewer shots against the number one defensive rated Grizz, he still went five for six from the field. Kaminga is finding a great place for himself on this dub squad. Great content, D-Flow. Keep it up. Appreciate that, Joshua. Thanks for the take as always, and I agree with you about Kaminga. All we can do is hope he stays committed to the grind. Thanks for competing in Community Speaks. Thanks for watching.